This is the most illegal thing I own. It's called an R4 cartridge and it was given to me by one of my friends. This in particular copy was actually bought online, pre-modded with over 500 games. You can commonly find these bootlegs on websites like eBay and Amazon, and they are most commonly used for custom hacks and emulators on the original DS, but can also be used for the 3DS if you want. Unlike the 3DS, the DS you can't plug in an SD card and just install homebrew and custom firmware. You actually need one of these R4 cards. And I'm going to show you how to set up your own R4. If you don't yet own an R4 cartridge, I'm going to tell you what to look for. You need to look for one that says SDHC and real time save. Those will allow you to use more current SD cards and save your games. But be careful, if an R4 says gold, platinum, silver, ultra, or dual core, it literally means nothing. They are all the same. Just buy the cheapest one. The name is just to make it sound more impressive. You will also need um, a micro SD card that has at least 2 to 32 gigabytes of storage. Now on to the fun part, figuring out how to hack this. Real quick information before we get started. If you have um, an R4 card and it has a date at the top, like mine says 2018, that probably means that it is time bombed, which means after a certain date it will stop working. But don't worry, there's an easy bypass to this. Um, I believe the firmware that we're actually installing should bypass it for you, but if it doesn't, just set your set the year on your 3DS or DS, set the year before the year up here, like mine says 2018, so I would set my clock um, to like 2017, 2016, or any, any time in the past, but yeah, anyways. So we're gonna go over to this Google Drive link. It's right there, I just highlighted it. Um, I'm also going to be putting it in the description so you can just click it and get to here and not have to type everything. And what we're gonna do is we're going to go here and we're just going to download the R4 SDHC folder. Once we have that downloaded, we're gonna go to our downloads and we're going to open the zip file open this folder and we're going to press control a control C we're gonna go over to our SD card which I did not plug in there we go essentially you're just gonna press control V and copy and paste ever all of those files over and that is literally it it's that simple and easy and now we're going to go um, actually test it on the console and see if it works. Okay, now that's all that's left is to actually test your R4 card. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug it into the back of here real quick. Make sure everything works. And there it is. It just popped up. Let's um, start it up and... Give it just a sec to boot. And here we go. This is our custom firmware for our DS or 3DS if you want to use it for a 3DS. Um, there's all of the, our folders. We have our games folder. It's somewhere up here. We have an emulators folder in case you need these emulators. But um, yeah, have fun with this. Um, don't get arrested or sued by Nintendo. See ya.